right what we learned in last class we learned only three points number 1 we learned how to install master and work repository using predefined rcu which is developed by oracle guy it is a one software or executable file or it is a wizard or it is a wizard to create our master and work repository and rcu is a fusion middleware component that means there is not the total property of the odi it's a obw if you want yes rcu you have to install first if you want odi also you want to install you have to install rc first whatever software you go in the fusion middleware you have to go with dot rcu first then by following that rcu only we install our master repository and work repository that's what known as b224 oda repo in that one we have the master and work repositories which are consist of total 183 tables then i want to process the things means i need one source database i need one target database so i have to move the data from source database to target database as we are in the training room we need to create the source database and target database in reality source database means nothing but let us say facebook is there you are typing some data back end is going and storing into the data into some table that's what called as oltp our net banking is available we are doing some transaction that is storing in the oltp automatically oltp tables data will be available with you in case of data warehouse tables also we are not that much of matured enough to decide okay it is a pharma project we need these are the set of tables these are the fact tables these are the dimension tables like that we are not that much of matured enough to decide these are the tables are required inside this table these are the columns are required like that okay our knowledge as of now let us say if you take 20 uh, to 30 years of the age group we don't know how to prepare the home maintenance template itself right you want to agree home maintenance template requires what are the columns we have idea home maintenance expenditure home maintenance expenditure requires some articles are required every day we are, we are purchasing we are, we are eating we are doing things right we are enjoying some of things we are eating some of things yes we don't know right but big project if we take how this working what are the tables are required what are the columns are required we are not in that position to decide that so what i would like to say is oltp and olap will be already available we are trying to do extract the required data and we are trying to load the data into the olap right to do that one to do that one first we need to configure here as at this point of time we have in the database source schema is available target schema is available today we are going to access those things through odi through odi for that we have to go for creating and managing topology creating and managing topology very important chapter this topology is right the oracle data integrator topology is the physical logical representation of the oracle data integrator architecture and components the oracle data integrator topology is the physical and logical representation of the oracle data integrator architecture and components what is the meaning if you go and observe here let us say i am trying to open our odi studio this is what the odi studio then go to the odi menu then go to the connect what is your login b224 is a login this login corresponding back end schema name is what b224 mrwr is a schema name right now i want to login with this one click on okay in our case in a company also whenever you are trying to click on okay make sure make sure observing these all things here we are connecting to the development repository our testing repository our water repository are connecting you come to understand by seeing the details simply are clicking on the login you, you thought of working in the development but you are working the testing means it is a serious issue right you have to work on the development by mistake it is pointing to the testing environment then it is a serious issue that is the reason whenever you are trying to log in please observe all the details then try to click on okay try to click on okay now once you clicked on okay we are talking today about what topology we are talking about the topology so our work is starting with topology 
not the designer, not the operator, not the security. Topology, what it is doing is, it's trying to create your physical architecture. Physical architecture. That means this is the area where you are going to communicate with your database. And we need your logical architecture also. Why we need logical architecture? Down the line, let us say, if I try to create a model, I try to create a model. Model is what object? It is a database object or ODA object or OBA object? ODA object. That ODA object is expecting, what it is expecting here? Logical schema. The logical schema means we need, we need to create the logical schema using what? Using the topology, logical architecture only. That means what I would like to say overall is, any ODA object is going to sit on top of the logical objects, on top of the logical objects. There is reason we have to create the physical objects, we have to create the logical objects, and which physical object has to meet with the which logical table that handshake is happens using what? Context. Physical object, logical objects, handshake is happening through what? Context. Through context. Context is a mediator or communicator. Mediator or communicator between physical architecture and logical architecture. Let us go and try to start today with the physical architecture. The physical architecture defines the different elements of the information system as well as their characteristics taken into account by Oracle Data Integrator. What is the meaning of this one? What is the meaning of this one? Suppose you said like Oracle or you said like DB2, its own data types are available. Yes or no? Oracle, what are data types supporting may not be supported by DB2. Whatever properties are available for Oracle may not be available for the DB2. That's what it means. The physical architecture defines the different elements of the information system as well as their characteristics, that is properties, taken into account by Oracle Data Integrator. See the beauty of the tools actually. If I am running, I prepared one code I prepared here. If I am running against to the SAP database, it is going to run. If I am running against to the Oracle, it is going to run. So, we can develop a report or a ODA implementation against what? What our source, what our target doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You can take anything as a source, you can take anything as a target and you can use it. For example, Oracle may be source, Teradata may be target. SQL Server may be source, Teradata may be target. DB2 may be source, Oracle may be target. Any source, any target doesn't matter, it is going to work. Then, each type of database, that is Oracle or DB2, etc., or any file formatted, it may be XML file, or it may be delimited flat file, or it may be fixed with flat file, whatever it is. Our application software is represented in Oracle Data Integrator by what? Technology. By technology. So, here one new term is came here. What is that? Technology. Yesterday, we prepared our... our current batch information thing 7 pm ODA now here some terminology I want to make it clear what is this technology this is corresponding to what terminology ODA terminology and we have here general terminology or known terminology for us known terminology known terminology tell me topology is nothing but our known terminology I can call it as Oracle software, Oracle software is also called as technology. Our DB2 software is called as one technology. Like this, etc. things will be happening. Then second one. For example, next one, inside the technology, what is available? If you go and see here, this is what the physical architecture. What is the loop? This one? Technologies under this one. What are the things are there? You may aware of you may aware of these things Let us say I'm going for what is this? File this file may be any type of file it may be delimited or it may be fixed width Delimited means comma delimited or tab delimited or XYZ delimited Fixed means fixed meaning one column Second column are separated with the 20 spaces. Second column, third column, separated with the 20 spaces. 
that means any two columns between spaces are same fixed then it is called as fixed width column 1 2 column 2 column 2 2 column 3 column 3 2 column 4 the number of spaces are fixed then it is called as fixed file okay now we people are aware of what you mean by hive also right it is a big data database hive pig okay hbase these all things you might be aware of it now we have we are seeing here informix we are seeing here our known database the database is known as let us say oracle and mysql microsoft sql server microsoft excel microsoft office access sap abop then sas then teradata what else not there you tell me a database which is not available here most of the things are available maybe possibilities are there one or two things may not be available okay for example hbase hadoop database which is not there yet maybe one or two things are not there but if not there also if you are very good about that properties you can go and we can create what new technology we can create it okay by default given regularly use technology whatever available he gave those things now you people have clarity technology is nothing but what different types of softwares next next point third point the physical components the store and expose structured data are defined as what data server data server you tell me one point you created oracle software using oracle software you created one thing that is called as that is called as that is called as warcl what is warcl it's a database name using oracle software only one database i can create or a number of databases i can create a number of databases once i install the oracle software i can create what n number of databases i can create it okay there is reason if you see in our live company your tns listener file what file tns listener file let us say if i go for my computer where it is available c drive app administrator product 11.2.0 client one client one then we have here network then we have here admin then we have here tns names in my case yes it is very small only one is available this one in live if you go and observe here we'll have we'll have almost i can say in my company 20 are available 20 databases maybe all of them i am not using it in my project different purpose they created it or maybe only for authentication purpose of that one or maybe something else purpose like that right so this what i am trying to say is 20 same databases no same means what what is the meaning here same means same means doesn't mean, one, mean that one same data we are going to store it some of them are oltp databases okay some of them are oelp databases which are development one database testing one database production one database some of them are some other purpose like to store the authentication and all like that now so overall what i am trying to say is data server is nothing but your database name data server is nothing but what database name for example it is what oracle oracle corporation limited now let us move on to the next a data server is always linked to a single technology of course oracle i am saying means the database this database you are going to create either using what oracle software or using sql server software but you cannot create some tables from oracle software some tables from sql server software that's not possible so a database cannot be made up of two technologies two technologies together okay next one a data server is always linked to a single technology a data server stores information according to a specific technical logic which is declared into physical schemas attached to this data server what is the meaning of here physical schema one more word is came what is that mean what is that what is that? physical schema the physical schema examples means let us say i can give you as as simple as scott 
or as simple as you created for source database purpose one schema and for target database purpose you created one schema these all things i can say, take as what physical schemas physical schemas now how to create it what is the process open your oda studio then go to oda menu connect it select the login name as rr tech click on edit under work repository section select work repository rr tech dev work rep click on test click on okay click on okay click on okay what is the meaning of these all things shall we go on to this one already we did it yes or no we connected we connected using this information only or not if you go to the oda if you go for this one that information only we logged in or not yes so already we did that part next is what go to the topology tab then right click on your technology then go for new data server then we have to provide click on the definition tab provide below information what is the name what is the technology what is the instance then what is the username password those things let us go and try to provide those all informations for example i am going to the oracle then right click on this oracle then go for what new data server new data server and it is asking we are in the which tab now which tab definition tab we are in the definition tab and what is the name any name we can provide it any name we can provide it i am providing your batch number 224 and we are communicating with oracle database hence i am giving oracle technology oracle any data server is tightly integrated with only what one technology a data server is linked with only one technology where it is installed this this database is installed which where which ip address which computer name that we have to provide it in my case it is what local host then what is the username username is sys as sys dba what is the password rr capital it is small 123 can i provide here normal user also yes answer is yes you can provide scott and tiger also no problem why i provide is administrator is you can access rest of all the schemas i can access it, it is a master user it is a admin user that is the reason i created this one i added this one here now if you go for next one that is called as what jdbc is this information is enough to communicate with the database enough enough or not enough is it enough how can be how can be you you want to say if i want to connect here you can write here what you can write sys okay then you have to write here yes sys dba okay and we are going to write the password we are going to write it okay rr capital itx small 123 enter maybe it connects here in the training room it connects here but tell me which database is connected here it is oracle but in company only one database available in company only one database available then which database you connected there is reason clearly whenever you are trying to log in that's what we used to specify what is the username what is the username followed by that one what is the password followed by that one what is the database name username password database names are mandatory that to within the database you are connecting from oda oda and database how it is going to communicate oda is a different software Oracle is a different software. How these two things are going to communicate? That's where we go for two drivers. Any one driver you can use it. One is JDBC drivers. Suppose you don't have JDBC drivers, then you can select what option? JNDA. If I select this one, automatically this will change here. Let us say I am selecting JNDA. What happened here? It changed. Changed. Right. What I mean to say is. what i mean to say is we have two ways to communicate with the database one is jdbc drivers second is jnda drivers mostly we'll use jdbc drivers only that is our database connection drivers next what is the meaning of jdbc driver how i can get that one 
it is expecting JDBC driver and JDBC URL. If you click on here browse, then what is this? Name is Oracle JDBC driver, syntax is this one, and it is a type 4 or type 2, the Oracle JDBC driver connection. Use this driver to connect to the Oracle 10G and 11G databases. Supports both type 2 OCI and type 4 thin connections. OCI means Oracle connectivity interface. Those are things it is going to support it saying. Now click on OK. What is the JDBC URL? If you click on this browse, then it is asking JDBC this one. I hope you people are aware of these all parameters. We were familiar with this. We were familiar with this. Click on here. OK. Then I want to go for your host name. The host name is nothing but local host. Then port number is nothing but 1521. SID is nothing but what is that? ORC. Already people are aware of these all things. Once you provided all the information, then click on your test connection. If anything is wrong, if anything is wrong, it is going to it is going to throw the errors. It's saying as what? Successfully connected. For example, by mistake you given here ORCL1. Then test connection. Okay. Then test state. It is going to show what? Connection field. Go for the always details and see what is the problem. TNS listener does not currently know of SID given in the connect descriptor. What do you mean by SID here? This is our TNS file, right? This is your TNS file. In that one, service name is nothing but what? Your SID. What is this one? Varsial. What you gave here? You gave Varsial. One you gave. That's what system don't know. If you give here Varsial, then system will not throw any error. It's going to throw. Uh, it's going to show successfully connected like that. Successfully connected like that. Done. Now I'm going to close this one. I closed it. You created successfully now one thing that is go for Oracle. What is created? You created what is object called as? Data server. What is the object is called as? Data server. We, are, we created data server. Fine. That's what, what is the meaning of this one. Let us go for next property. Create what? Physical schemas. Create physical schemas. What is the meaning? For example, if I right click on this one, there we have one option. The option is called as new physical schema. Tell me where is your source? Where is your source? Inside, inside B224 SDBUO. This is our source. Now go for create the connection. Right click, then go for new physical schema. Then I am trying to create physical schema name. Name anyhow it is freeze yes or no? It is disabled. Name automatically populates. We select here schemas. Schema it is asking. Then go to the drop down and select whatever you want it. What you want in our case? B224 SDBUO. This is our data schema. Schemas are two types. One is data schema. Second is work schema. Data schema means your original tables were available. Business data were available. That is called as data schema. Work schema means, as you people are aware of it, we don't have any staging area separately. We don't have any staging area separately. On fly, whenever it is doing the transformations, if it requires the temporary tables, where it is going to store it? If it requires the temporary tables, where it is going to store it? That place is called as what? Work schema. Now, let us go and try to provide that one work schema here. Now connection is, is a default connection you want to use it or what? By default, default only available, keep it. What are the work table prefixes? Error table is prefixed with what? E dollar. Loading table prefixed with what? C dollar. Integration table prefixed with what? I dollar. You come to understand down the line all these tables types and what is the purpose of that one. Next, <coughs> save it. We saved it. You created successfully one physical thing and it's saying as no contest specified for the schema please specify the appropriate contest to be able to use the schema in the designer module designer module 
that means there is a requirement to create there is a requirement to create a contest and logical schema click on here okay i clicked on the okay then we got here b224 orcl sdbuo similarly can you create tdbuo right click then what new physical schema then provide here in place of the sdbu what is that tdbu and work schema also i am selecting here same strictly speaking work schema if you select here dedicatedly some temporary schema means is very good but in my case i am selecting same schema i am selecting in my case i am selecting same schema i am selecting then go and try to click on save then click on ok we completed now source one and also target one we completed what sorry sorry come again exactly exactly in oracle database we created two schemas the two schemas i want to communicate means here we require two physical schemas are required that's what i written here i written here the physical schema is equal to what oracle database schema it is a known terminology scart is nothing but one physical schema b224 sdbuo is nothing but one physical schema b224 tdbuo is nothing but one physical schema right now physical schema directly cannot communicate with our oda objects if i want to create a model if i want to create a model is it asking your physical schema or logical schema so there is a need to create here logical schema i have to create it yes or no we have to create what logical schema how i can create it how i can create it for example i am going for here technologies which database corresponding it is which database oracle right click on this one then go for new logical schema tell me what purpose we are going to use this one let us say i am giving general name that is what source i am trying to say here then i want to create here one more thing that is called as target one more logical schema that is called as what target save it we created now two logical schemas two physical schemas how this logical schema and physical schema are going to communicate that's where we have the mediator or communicator called as contest contest is a communicator between physical and logical architecture it is the time of installation itself uh, sorry at the time of master repository and work repository creation itself we got by default contest that is known as global now i don't want to use this one i want to create here my own contest the contest name is let us say development the contest name is what development and we have to go for here the schemas i have to map it now logically is available somewhere physically is available somewhere how we are going to map it that's where we have to go for the schemas this logical schema physical schema logical schema source mapped with what physical schema here logical schema target mapped with what physical schema here that we have to specify then try to save this one we saved it that means this logical schema and physical schema communicating with what context development context similarly target logical schema this one communicating with what context development if you want to make this is a default connection this is a default connection that means whenever tomorrow you are running for example observe other batch work other batch work i am trying to open one more oda studio i am opening then go to the oda connect other batch is let us say b222 batch okay okay then for example if i want to run their work one thing i want to run here if i want to run whatever they developed here any one thing i am trying to run here then whenever i am trying to execute it is asking here contest or not if you select here development production testing if you select the development from development oltp it picks the table and load into the development target tables if i select production what will happens from production oltp is going to pick the data it is going to load into the production target tables 
the contest always are going to create based on your enrollments based on your enrollments development purpose one contest production purpose one contest testing purpose one contest like that we are going to prepare it for each enrollment one contest we are going to prepare it okay that's clear now that is the reason we are trying to create here a contest that contest is known as development and mostly we are going to work with development right hence select here default connection this has then do you want to use this contest development by default yes i do mostly i am i am trying to do any r and d any research in the development only that's what i am saying as a default connection click on yes here then try to save this one now we created development contest to create and also it is default how you are saying default so block mark is came or not the block mark is available then it is called as default if i select global global if i select as a default then click on save automatically black mark is shifted towards what global at this point of time i want development only i want so select the development only then try to save it then let select here default then go for what save black is came or not yes so that's how we are going to do it that's how we are going to do it now if you go and see our diagram here create the physical schemas we created two physical schemas we created scott and tdb like that created logical architectures we created then we created the contest we created contest is nothing but communicator between physical and logical architectures that's what it is doing here this is this is only one logical architecture through development it is communicating one physical through global it is communicating another possibility is there or not possibility is there down the line you come to understand how it is going to communicate how it is going to communicate for example observe the previous batch work at this point of time what they did if you go and try to observe here contest development right click open development contest schemas if you observe it is communicating with what schema here bt22 hdbu corresponding to what is the logical schema source for example if i take the production sorry let me observe the targets actually what is the target is it is tdbu and target remember this one target is the logical name and this is what physical name if i go for the production open what is the target corresponding only observe target target corresponding is different or not different if you go for the testing open target corresponding is what different different so what i am trying to say is only one logical connection communicating with different physical things through different contexts through different contexts so that's how contexts are working process we did that one tomorrow we'll try to understand rest of the things today i'm stopping what we learned today we learned about topology we understand how to create the data server we understand how to create the physical schemas we understand how to create the logical schemas we understand how to create the contest and how to map logical and physical schemas that's it very simple try to walk through it tomorrow we'll continue from this point thank you